everyone! Welcome back to another Animal Crossing Pocket Camp video. So as you can see, there's some new special furniture coming back. There's Harriet's Salon Station and Leaf's Flower Stand. And we have a new fortune cookie, Felicity's Kitty Cookie. And if you didn't know, Pocket Camp is doing this whole cat event on right now because it was cat day in Japan, I think. So there's a lot of cat themed stuff on for this month and I absolutely love all the items in this cookie, especially the little kitty tea set. Oh my goodness, and the kitty headband wig. It's so cute. So today I thought we'd just relax for a little while on Pocket Camp. The event on currently is Rover's Choco Locale, though I haven't taken part in it much. We were supposed to be collecting sweet chocolate bars. I'm pretty sure this event started before Valentine's Day, which is why it's all chocolate themed and cat themed for cat day as well. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't really take part in it, so today I just thought we'd see what's going on in Pocket Camp and relax together, take part in the event. So it looks like the Jaradite scavenger hunt is on right now and it's themed after busking. And we have these feline friendly collections in stock. This is so cute. I really wanted to make a video about this, but actually by the time um, I was going to make it, all the stuff was already out, so I didn't think it was really worth it. Everything in Pocket Camp right now is all cat themed, which I'm a big fan of because I'm a cat person and I love cats. And we have all these new cat villagers joining us, Rudy, Kitty, Pearl and Cat. I love every single cat villager, so I'm so happy about that. And so my campsite hasn't changed since last time you guys saw me. So why don't we ask if you guys can help me get into Shovel Strike Quarry for today because I think that'd be fun for us to do. Hopefully you guys will be able to help me out. And let's collect our presents. This one's from Alfonso. Thank you, Alfonso. Though we don't have any room in our mailbox. So it looks like we have a special cookie today. So why don't we check it out? Okay, so our special cookie for today is Bo's Artisanal Cookie. So let's get it. I love the animation when they're eating a fortune cookie, it's so cute. You'll catch a cold, but you'll get over it in a single day. And we got, oh my goodness, a baker's apron dress. That's so beautiful. I'm really happy with that. Okay, so since it's a Jarodite event on right now, why don't we head to Breezy Hollow? Okay, so here we are, and it's still snowy. For some reason, I expected it to be grassy already. I keep forgetting how long winter lasts in Animal Crossing. But it's really lovely hearing the sound of the snow under your feet. This will most likely be the last video we film in the snow for a long time because the grass will be here soon. So Bam wants some oranges. How's it going Lulu? Spring's almost here. You know what that means. Spring training. Think of all the sports there are to play when it's warm out. I gotta be ready for them. Yeah, I know it's not really spring yet, but that just means it's time for my pre-spring training warm up. <laughs> here you go, here's your oranges. Whoa, I wouldn't say no to this, thanks. Lulu, thanks for the help as always. You're the best Brosephine, Prang. <laughs> oh, Bam is so sweet. And we're at level 9 friendship with him now. And he wants a fish that we don't have. Oh my goodness, there's so many Jarodites over here. Here's another one. They're very cute. I love their little hats. For some reason, I feel like we've had Jarodites that look exactly like this before, though. I remember there being an event with, like little cardboard box, not cardboard, um, little wooden boxes that the villagers would dance on. And for some reason I feel like the Jarodites looked like this. I could be misremembering though. So let's collect these lemons and we can sell them in our market box. There we go. So hopefully one of you will enjoy getting those lemons. But looks like we've collected all the Jarodites from this area, so I suppose we should move on to the next place. Why don't we head to Saltwater Shores? Okay, so here we are, and there's loads of shells today. Here we have a pearl oyster shell. And here's another little Jarodite. You don't get as many in this area because this area is much smaller than the others, but it's still good to go here, I guess. Oh my goodness, I love this character's angel wings. I wish I had these. Also, if you can hear noise in the background, that's my cat cleaning himself. <laughs> Am I dreaming or is that Lulu? Long time no see. I was really hoping I'd run into you again. You were totally like the coolest cat I met on the road. Here you go, here's the fish you wanted. A dab and an octopus. Or it could be an olive flounder, actually. Wow, I didn't realise I had fans all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. Thanks. The only thing that could make me happy right now is a hug from a baby penguin. How cute. <laughs> we could always go get a penguin villager and ask them to give her a hug. Okay, so we have like way too much stuff right now. We have so many materials. I'm thinking we should just sell some in our market box because surely one of my friends needs some more materials and I just have too many. Every single time I do a request for someone, it says my pockets are full and just sells all the materials for money because I just don't have any room, so I suppose it's a good idea to sell these for some of you guys who need the materials. Actually, we can also use these materials on Gulliver's Island, so why don't we check that out? Okay, so we have two golden islands, so I don't really want some treats. 
and I don't care too much about door or bars, so why don't we refresh the island and see what we get? Okay, now we got some good ones. Oh my goodness, Lyman's map is on this one! Okay, I definitely want to send Gulliver off to this island because I really want to get Lyman for my little campsite. Oh my goodness! So, I don't need any of this stuff. Oops, I always forget I have to load it first. So, let's give away all my wood and all my steel. I suppose let's get rid of my paper because I never really need the paper. Let's do 60 pieces of paper and also the little preserves because I never need those either. There we go, to Lolly and Pals Island. Well, I'm off, I'll be seeing you. Awesome, but we have to wait <laughs> six hours to see if we get Lyman or not, so we won't be discovering that in today's video, unfortunately. Oh, and it's sunset now. <laughs> awesome, it's so relaxing. But yeah, like I was saying, I really hope that they add some more dialogue to Pocket Camp soon, because I've been playing this game for a long time, and it's getting to the point where every character has said the same thing to me in a video. And um, yeah, I'd like to hear them say something else because um, it gets to be a bit tiresome talking to the characters when they all say the same thing, you know? Which I think is why a lot of people don't even talk to their villagers anymore, they just get Pete to deliver everything. Which, honestly, I do that too when I'm playing in my own time, but um, when I'm making videos I like to go around and actually talk to the villagers because it makes the gameplay more fun, I think. Okay, so here we are at Sunburst Island. Gulliver's here, as always. And Tucker's here. So we have a couple of Jaredites in the palm trees. We've almost hit our Jaredite goals now. Um, let's catch this bug. Ta-da! I got a walking stick. I remember a boy at my school had some pet um, walking sticks. And they're really cool. He used to bring them into school. Oh, look at this beautiful butterfly. A monarch butterfly. Oh, I really love them. They're so pretty. With each day comes another glorious sunset and another delicious dinner. <laughs> That's a nice way to look at life. Here's the peach you wanted, Tucker. Ooh, a present. Thanks. I think today might be the best day of my whole trip, but I can't be sure until I've had dinner. Oh, and he also wants some butterflies. Here you go, here's the butterflies you wanted. You got something for me? It's my lucky day. You might just be the nicest person in the world, Lulu. Thank you. <laughs> my Animal Crossing villagers compliment me too much. Don't you think the sunset here is so beautiful? Look at those clouds. I've always really loved the sunset time in Pocket Camp. I think it's so gorgeous. Look how pretty it is. It's yellow, orange, pink and blue with the purple water as well. Our sunsets and Animal Crossing are just so beautiful. Here's our daily goals. We have to go to Lost Little Creek. So why don't we go do that now? Here we are at Lost Little Creek and it's all snowy here. And Static is here but he wants an apple. We don't have any apples here unfortunately. But we do have Jarodites hiding in the trees. Here we go. I love playing Jarodite events in videos because I think it's... A really nice opportunity to just walk around and chat to you guys and be all relaxed. I think when it's a garden event it's a bit more chatty, like I have to talk to all the villagers. Oh and we got a message in a bottle, a lost bottle out of the water. I bet I'll find the rightful owner at the campsite or cabin. Okay we'll have to return to the campsite later and see who's that is then. I love fishing in this game too. I think it's super relaxing, it's a lot easier than in the mainline Animal Crossing games because all you have to do is tap the screen once. But it's really chill and relaxing, especially at sunset, don't you guys think? I feel like I haven't done a video in Pocket Camp like this for a while. I know you guys really love my chill with me videos. But yeah, sometimes it's hard to know what to talk about, but I guess you guys don't mind as long as I'm talking about something while I'm playing. I think it's still enjoyable for you. I know a lot of people just like to hear me talk. Um, they don't really care what I'm talking about, so yeah, that does make me happy that I can bring comfort to someone just by playing Pocket Camp for a little while, so thank you so much to everyone who always supports my Pocket Camp videos. It really does mean a lot to me. So let's catch this fish over here. And we got a Crucian Carp. Awesome. Why don't we use our river net? Here we go. I have so many of them after all. Here we go. Yay! <laughs> And we got a Crucian Carp, Pond Smelt, Freshwater Goby, and a second Freshwater Goby. I think one of the villagers wanted one of those, so that's awesome. And we got another Crucian Carp, so why don't we see, have we done our daily goals? We went to Lost Little Creek, so we got some silver treats. And we got a Crucian Carp, we caught 10 fish. Looks like we did our daily goals. And we unlocked a River Throw Net, which I guess pays back the one we just used to do the daily goals. <laughs> Okay, so here's all the items available right now for the Busker Scavenger Hunt. I love this little planter with all the tulips in it. 
That's so gorgeous. And look at this big busker's organ. That's so pretty. It really reminds me of that item I love in New Horizons. Um, we have this little bowler hat, which is nice. How cute. We have these acrobats chairs. And we have this balloon art. Oh, how cute. And we have this little bench. That's very simple and cute. And it only costs 20 gyrodites. So, other than that, here we have the cat collection. Why don't we see what we look like in this outfit? Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Oh my gosh! I'm so cute, oh my goodness! Oh my gosh, I love this costume so much. I know they released a black version of this costume ages back, but I'm so happy they released a little white and pink one. It's so cute, especially with these little cats you can hold. Though actually, as much as I love cats, I think I prefer the way the teddy bears look when you carry them. Because the cat sort of looks a bit uncomfortable, don't you guys think? <laughs> this outfit's so cute though. And of course we have these pink and brown dresses as well. I really really love this pink dress. Don't you guys think it's so cute? And Ruby looks so cute in it as well. I love all the little cats all over it. Let me know in the comments, are you more of a cat person or a dog person? Whoa! Look at this! It's massive! That's amazing! <laughs> oh my gosh! And we also have this label item that's still available, looks to be a winter item. Oh my goodness, look how fabulous and lovely she is! Oh my gosh, I love it! Let's collect these peaches. We don't have enough room, so we have to sell something again. This is what I mean, I really need to sell lots of my stuff because I just have no room in my pockets to hold anything. Looks like nobody's bought anything yet though. Oh, he wants an apple. So I guess before we talk to him, we should probably head back to Breezy Hollow and collect some apples for him. Okay, here we are. Oh, and here's Bam. He wants those little gobies we caught, so here you go. Can I really have this? Thanks, Lulu. No problem, glad I could help. Oh, and he wants a butterfly we don't have now. So why don't we collect these apples? Oh, we have no room again. Oh no, we have too many fish, I think. Why don't we sell some? Though we have tons of fruit as well. Maybe I should sell some of these special fruits that I've bought from people. What about my lychee? I do have too many of those. I'm sure someone out there needs some lychee. There we go. Oh, there's another gyrodite here. I think that's all of them from this area again. So now we've got the apples. So why don't we head back to Saltwater Shores? Okay, here we are. Let's give the octopus to Carmen. Oh, do you have some new gossip nougat? Here you go. Here's the octopus you wanted. Not sure why you want it though. Okay, she seems happy with everything we've given her. Oh, there's a little gyrodite in the tree over here. Must have missed him earlier. Isn't the sea so beautiful when it's all purple? I love it. Okay, so why don't we head back to Static and give him his apples? Here we are, back in the snow. Hi Static. Is that Lulu? It is. I knew these old eyes still worked a little bit. I got bored so I packed up and hit the road, so here we are. You know how I like to brag about how things were better in the old days? Well, it's the exact opposite of fish. They're better than ever. Just look at these gorgeous creatures. Well, here you go, here's your apples. Whoa, you're really generous. I wasn't sure if you were joking around before. You're one reliable gal. Put me down as a reference on your next job application. I always see posts about that everywhere. I swear I've seen like 10 different people make a joke that they're gonna put Apollo as their reference on their job application. I've just seen the joke so many times now that <laughs> it's not like funny to me anymore. <laughs> yeah, I really hope they add some more dialogue soon because the characters are all saying the same thing to me. And they might add some more dialogue um, with the next update, but they don't usually seem to change the dialogue much in Pocket Camp. They only add like different things where the characters will say, oh, it's winter soon, or it's spring soon, things like that. Okay, so it doesn't look like anyone's helped me get into Shovel Strike Quarry. So why don't we head back to the campsite? Here we are, and looks like it was Claude's bottle that we found. Whoa, were you a mind reader or something? I lost that weeks ago. Now I don't have to ask for help. I probably would have asked you anyway, Lulu, so you saved us both some steps. Seriously, thanks so much. Well, here you go. Here's your bottle I found. You found it. Man, you have a good eye for spotting things. Thanks. Claude is so cute. Do you want to know what's inside the bottle? Okay, I'll tell you. It's my Lloyd Rock. Lloyd Rock? I put it inside this bottle for safekeeping, but then I lost the bottle. Whoops, I belong. <laughs> what the heck is a Lloyd Rock? I know what Lloyd is, but why is there a rock in the shape of Lloyd? That's super weird. While we're here, why don't we go talk to Ruby? Oh my gosh, Lulu, I'm so glad to see you. Stella hooked me up the other day and gave me some clothes I've been wanting for like forever, so I want to give her something as a thank you. Which of these do you think is best for Stella? An alpine sofa, a blue bed, or a metal guitar? Um, I think an alpine sofa. An alpine sofa? That's a genius! I'll go drop it off right now. 
Hey, yeah, I totally got you this thing. Wait for it. Ta-da! <laughs> what? An alpine sofa? This is almost too good to accept, Butterbing. Almost. Thank you. Oh, Stella is so cute. Yay, that gift really seemed to hit all the right notes. Nicely done, Lulu. I owe you one. Looks like Claude is enjoying the fireplace. And we have our lovely toasty warm teacup over here. So it doesn't look like we can craft anything for the Jarred event yet because we don't have enough. And unfortunately nobody's helped us get in Shovel Strike Quarry yet. So let's have a look at the happy home designer things. Oh, we need a kitty apron for this one. So actually, why don't we go look at the fortune cookies and see if we can get one. Okay, so here we are and it's Felicity's kitty cookie. So why don't we buy one and see what we get? This cookie's design is so cute. You will never get another blister on your foot. And we got a kitty bakery lamp. That is so beautiful. I would love an item like this in my New Horizons Island. And we have seven stamps on our card now. Okay, so we didn't get the kitty dress, but we could always just do this room anyway. Here we are, and it's with Rover and Lottie. The cutest characters. So we have a strawberry cupcake. Oh, what should we use instead? Uh, maybe the apron dress, since it's a cafe. And a chocolate heart seat. There we go. How cute is this little chocolate shop? Oh, it's so lovely. How comes Lottie gave us such low marks? She must be in a bad mood today. And we got 207 points. I always forget about these happy homeroom mini game things. What other ones are there to do? There's Pekin's little house. How cute is that? We have two of the items. Why don't we give it a go? I love Pekin so much. She's so cute. And look at this little garden, it's so lovely. Oh, doesn't look like the tulip dress goes with it? I thought it would, because there's all beautiful tulips on the floor. Let's try a different dress, maybe the fairy dress? No. Oh, she's next to some apples, so... Oh, okay, so the apple dress was the one she wanted. 70 points from Lottie. 61 points from Digby. I love you, Digby. We got 31 points from Lyle. And we got 50 points from Pekin. But thank you so much, Pekin. We did it! Woohoo! This room design is so cute. Oh, and we leveled up! Awesome! Yay! <laughs> We're expert rank 8. In accordance with your interior design ability, you've been assigned the rank of expert rank 8. Okay, well I think I'm actually going to leave it there for today, guys. I know we didn't do much in today's video, but I hope you found it relaxing. Hope you enjoyed playing in Pocket Camp with me. Let me know what you thought of this month's events with the cats and all the chocolate stuff. I'd really love to hear what you thought about it. I honestly thought that all this stuff was super cute. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it relaxing. I hope you're having a lovely day. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to though, thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs>